Don't just stop. Just just don't look anywhere else and just focus on being a good cameraman. Focus Malocus. Yes. Boulevard Bullies here with David Starr. Yeah. Glasses David Starr this time. Glasses David Starr? Last time we didn't have I didn't have glasses. Jacket book bag. You've always been one of the more stylish is wrestlers so? out there. Oh, Who's absolutely. It? Look at this shirt. How great is this shirt? Bottom line merch.com slash David Starr. Huh? It's a good shirt. Okay, just try to not be a horrible cat. Okay, just you're you're already getting too. He's crazy. not drunk in Santa this time, though. I, mean, I know, but he's a, drunk in cameraman, which is even drunk more dangerous. Cameraman. Don't make that face. My favorite David Starr shirt is still the Monday Night Raw over as fuck. A lot of people like that one. Uh, That's a good one. And you know what? I've That's lost... a processing tease.com slash David Starr. Is that still out there? Mm-hmm. I had the uh, NWO one as well. Oh, that's also a good one. Uh, that's a good little thing. Totally good. We had some parody stuff going on. Yeah, I mean. That's the best to me. I love, I love a good Monday Night Raw parody shirt. Sick. And then Kevin Owens ripped it off, of yeah, course. Yeah, what? Stole your idea, blatantly. Definitely did that. Have you ever met Kevin Owens? After he got signed and he was doing a couple shows, he did, uh, it was the best of the best that was here, and he packaged Paul Grove DJ. And then CZW did a show in New England, and he was on that and wrestled DJ. And he was on a couple of Beyond shows with us. And He's a good dude. He did say on his one thing with the Bucks, that I was in the top five worst professional wrestler Twitters. And I told him I vowed to become the worst. The worst at Twitter. I vowed to be out. And now the problem is it went it went the opposite. And now I'm like really good at Twitter. I tried so hard to be bad that I got fucking great. Would you say that that's the At the most... product DS. Do that again. At the product DS. You have a good Twitter, but I very much enjoy the David Star Instagram Bay pics. Oh, uh, ba- David? Yeah, the baby. Like David, yeah. like David pictures? I, I mean, you know, I- I- do you think it's funny? Yes. I don't think it's funny. I think I hate it. Oh, okay. I just changed my mind literally right now. Oh, okay. As I judged yeah. your reaction right, to right. what you thought of it. I think it's funny. Oh, my God. I also wear these glasses a lot because I think they're funny. I got them out of humor. You should see. I have a picture of my eye doctor on here. Picture of David Starr's eye doctor. His name is Barry Manson. He is the most, he is like the strangest looking individual. He calls me by the wrong name and I never correct him. What name does he call you? Charlie. I've never gone by Charlie in my entire life. Like, in no way she, look at this, look at this fucking picture. He calls me Charlie and that's not my name. He's like stuck in this weird time paradox in which these glasses are one of the best options he has. I saw them and I was like, those are hilarious. And I got him. The fact that I wear something solely for self-deprecating humor, I think, says a lot about my character. I find, like, a lot of women don't appreciate self-deprecating humor when yeah. you're trying to approach them. No, yeah, they don't get it. It's like, you go up and be like, hey, so you want to hang out? I mean, I'm a total loser. It's like, a lot Remember of women... we didn't talk about any of the things we said we were... We're really going to. About. We're going to get there. <laughs> but but I, feel, I feel, like, so good right now talking yeah, to you. Yeah, it's great. It's um, great. So, you know, I find, like, a lot of women say, hey... Uh, Bay Patrick or whatever, but then it's like, hey, you want to hang out with me? I'm a loser. Be and then it like Baytrick. Yeah, Baytrick. Yeah. Okay, stop. Okay. Hey, we're here with David Starr. What do you think about the return? How was it coming back to CZW uh, last night in Flyer Skate Zone? It was. It's. It's a pretty special moment, especially because it's Danny Havoc's retirement show. Um, Down with the Sixers is always a big thing. We honor uh, all the fallen brothers from CZW. So. Uh, it's always it's always a special night. I was happy to be able to come back. I'm happy to be at CZW, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be here for every CZW show pretty much going forward for a while, even though I will also maintain my European commitments. Uh, CZW is a top American priority for me, so it's really cool to be back. And I, I thought it was a, I had a good one with uh, Johnny Silver. I thought, thought it was good. I thought the fans got their money's worth. It was, it was fun. Last month, you had left the CZW office, and you just ran. Yeah. You just started running. I felt like running. Yeah, and, and you just kept running through the streets. Of, yeah. Was it Philadelphia? Philadelphia? It was. Streets of Philadelphia. Streets of Philadelphia. And my beard grew. And your beard grew? Over that period of time. Like during the run? or? Yeah, yeah. The one thing that really was bothering me is that uh, the person who was filming you running was a man by the name of John Carlin. Yeah. 
who tonight was wearing... Real piece of shit. Right. Could you just do me a favor right now and just get the shot of this strip right here on the floor? Yeah, do it. Could you just do that for me? Do it. Yep, you got it. Now bring that shit up now. Yeah. Come on, Drunk Santa. Now, that was the color of the jacket. It was really loud and annoying, right? What is up with that? I don't know. He's got no taste. No taste. He's also shaped like a bird. Yes. You ever notice that? John Carlo has like, <laughs> like a bird shape. Yeah. Got like a, He's like, like a rounded body. He's like a pear that has like bird-like features. Yeah. He's like a Mr. Burns pear. Yeah. 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 No, he had a terrible, loud orange jacket. It was obnoxious, just dying for attention as yeah. he always it's is. It's like a guy like Sammy Callahan is going to put his hat down mm-hmm. and he's just going to relax. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, what did you think about John Carlo's jacket? What did you this think season? about John Carlo's orange jacket? How loud and annoying was it? Just begging for attention John, at just all. Just be times. honest. He has to put his name on everything. What's it matter? I'm surprised his name is not on his jacket. It's on his underwear, probably. Everything else he wears. Calvin? Calvin Klein? <laughs> weird, weird sidebar. I'm wearing <laughs> purple Calvin Klein underwear right now. There's bathed for you. No, but it's like Back to the Future. Are you wearing blue Calvin Klein? <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Are we pulling our dicks out or what? No, please. No dicks? Calvin, Okay, back, I'll stop. Back up. Yeah, we go. Yeah, that's right. David and, and Patrick. Batrick. Batrick. Batrick and, and Baved. David. Batrick and David. You want to... Do you want to do a uh, Tinder group? You want to start a Tinder group? Dude, I just got fucking taken. Yeah, I'm dating an English girl. Nice. That's, that's the... Uh, that's the, all the Instagram posts. Yeah, posting. yeah. She's a fucking bitch. Yeah. Seems like you guys get along. Seems like you're yeah, reasonable. I hate, I hate her. Hmm. What's the food that you have eaten the most here at the Flyer Skate Zone over the course of your career? Like from here? Yeah. Uh, chicken wrap. They have chicken wraps over there. They're pretty decent. Is that what you're going to miss the most about the Skate Zone is the chicken wraps? Or is it the air conditioning? Oh, you know what I'm, you know I'm going to miss? The lack of Wi-Fi. Oh, oh man. terrible. The <laughs> terrible service oh, here. Man. That's really what I'm going to Unbelievable. Let's show our underwear again. Let's do what I miss. Let's do the underwear again. I think that works well. I think that works well. Yeah, okay. all right. Uh, it's written all over your underwear. Yeah. I've never you seen get a, purple can, underwear before. Can you get a photo? Can you get a photo of, of this? Of this? Yeah. Just get a photo. Okay. There we go. Yeah, thanks. All right, so that's it. That's going into special collection. Our second meeting with David Starr. Love you so much. Really just do so much. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Anyway, uh, over as fuck. Yeah. You can buy my stuff. Bottomlinemerch.com slash David Star, ProSMTs.com slash David Star, the product DS.com, at the product DS, Facebook search David Star. If you feel like booking me, the product David Star at gmail.com, which you probably do feel like booking me because I'm really good at professional wrestling. You know why you're so good at professional wrestling? Hmm. You're literally the only guy that does that. Am I? Yeah, you're the only guy that no I've way. ever spoken to who does that, and you're the only guy who lays that all out there, Always. right there like that. You have to. I gotta make money. I gotta feed my cat. If I could tell you how much money tell I us. make on merch. Tell us. A lot. I how do, much, how I much do. do you get your shirts printed up for? $4.50. You sell them for $25. That's great. You know, you just, you don't even have to make your own graphic. You just steal the Monday Night Raw design. Get real creative. With yeah, it, you know it's like, who I mean? fucking cares, even? I've been making, like, all my designs recently have been super original. So, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Love you so much. Can we hug? Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, I'm not hugging you, though. No. No. <laughs> Here we go. not hugging me, though. No. You know, we're only a few months away from Christmas, so I wouldn't be surprised to see... Uh, I'm Jewish. Santa's gonna make a fucking insensitive. Shut up. Appearance. <laughs> Somewhere. Stop. Sometimes soon.